In sedimentary basins, faults can have long and complex histories. So in this video, we'll look at identifying fault reactivation on the seismic reflection profile. We're going to pick out a couple of horizons on this profile, then identify the faults. But then the critical part of the analysis is to make a partial cartoon restoration where we reconstruct the interval thicknesses between our horizons and rehang them on a cartoon. We then redraw the faults and explore the offsets on these faults as we interpret the structural evolution of this sedimentary basin area. So here's our first horizon and it's picked as a continuous surface pretty much across the entire profile. We can compare the behaviour of this horizon with an underlying one which I've picked out here in green and this deeper horizon is broken, presumably offset by fault structures which are picked on the profile here. OK, so how are we going to analyse this? Well, we're going to rehang the stratigraphy, putting the blue horizon back to horizontal, assuming that was its orientation at the time of its deposition. And from this, we'll rehang the stratigraphy, in other words, the interval thickness, back down to the green horizon, systematically across the profile, rather like dropping plumb lines. So first of all, we'll just simply measure the distances down from the blue horizon to the green at various points, and then we'll rehang approximately the green horizon from the blue one in the undeformed state below. And you'll see the green horizon still shows abrupt thickness changes, which we will infer to occur across faults like this. So that shows us a cartoon reconstruction of a rift basin defined by a series of normal faults that were formed by the time the blue horizon was deposited. And now we can take this interpretation below back to the seismic. And you'll see that we've got an array of normal faults shown with those blue half arrows, and then the double-headed arrows show faults that have moved back afterwards, and as a consequence deformed the blue horizon, as well as, of course, the underlying geology. So the three faults we've picked out in here, in red double arrows, have reactivated. They started life first as normal faults, but have then replayed later, after the deposition of the blue horizon, as contractional reverse faults. So some faults have reactivated and some not. These are the ones that reactivated. We're just going to look in a little detail at two of them, the ones on the left and right of the image. There's a small one in the middle that's reactivated, but we won't worry about that too much at this stage. So if you look at the example on the right, you can see that the green horizon is barely offset now across the fault. Although if you look at the cartoon below, originally that offset was fairly considerable. So we have a null point where the green horizon matches back up. Now, in fact, pretty much everything below has recovered, presumably. So all the extension is recovered, as far as we can tell from this interpretation, through that contractional reactivation. Well, let's turn our attention to the left-hand fault, and you'll see that this has a different behaviour. As we go down the fault, the green horizon is still in the next extension, whereas the blue horizon, well, the right-hand side of the blue, the hanging wall side of the fault, has been moved up relative to the left, so it's in net contraction. So that fault has not reactivated as much, as the one on the right. So we conclude that our sedimentary basin has been compressed after it formed, but that compression is only replayed on three of the original faults, leaving many of the old normal faults still in their original state, not reactivated. The amount of reactivation on the three faults that have removed varies, so that on the right all the original extension has been recovered, on the left, only part of that original extension has been recovered by the contractional deformation. So this style of deformation is called inversion tectonics, the contractual reactivation of extensional faults, and these contractional processes are classically heterogeneous within sedimentary basins. Not all faults reactivate. And the key thing we've done to visualise this evolution is to make this little cartoon restoration, which is a critical step in the interpretation workflow. It shows roughly 
what the original Rift Basin looked like before it was compressed and inverted. <laughs>